I have never seen anything as disgusting. Nope. Nothing as appalling. No, 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 no. Nothing as horrifying as this. Shooting in full HD this year, especially on the S52X, is really not that bad. And don't let people tell you that it is. Now, if you want to learn more about Lumix cameras, if you want to master the Lumix cameras like the S52X, S52 GH6, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications because I've got videos coming out all the time about these cams. Let me grab this. Now this is a weird video because I love shooting 4K 120p on the GH6, even 5.7K at 60p on the GH6, I shoot that plenty as well. But is shooting full HD 1080 this year so horrible? Thanks to Lumix, I got my hands on a fully specced out S52X. And this is an incredible camera that shoots 6K Apple ProRes and it's got bit rates that'll probably make your mama blush. So why on earth would I even consider shooting Full HD 1080 on a spec heavy S52X? First of all, we've got to address the elephant in the room and that is the autofocus once you go down to 1080. Do we lose phase detect autofocus when we step down to Full HD? From what I've seen and even on the S5 II, which I'm shooting on right here, it does seem to be a little bit different of an autofocus, especially at 120p. Like Lumix hasn't come out and said that it goes to contrast based in full HD that I know of. I don't think they've said that, but it does seem like a different autofocus system once you step into full HD. And remember that this phase detect autofocus on these cameras, it is a hybrid system phase detect autofocus. So it does feel just a little bit different when shooting in full HD. So why would you even consider shooting full HD 1080 on this camera right here, the S52X. First of all, you're gonna be able to shoot 120 frames per second. And on the S52X, that is 422 10-bit all intra. And it's gonna be at 400 megabits per second. So in all reality, I mean, that image coming out of the S52X at 120 frames per second is gonna be gorgeous. So some of these shots I shot at 120p and I mean, honestly, it looks pretty good. Another thing is that you lose the high frame rate APS-C crop factor, which is making everybody mad right now. So those high frame rates like 120p, 60p, 48, those are actually gonna be full frame and full HD. But yes, you do lose the 4K, you lose the DCI 4K, because all of those high frame rates in 4K they're gonna be an APS-C crop. But in full HD, that crop is gone and you will be able to shoot full frame. Another thing to consider why maybe shooting 1080 is not so bad this year is that a lot of people right now are just watching your videos 
other people videos on this little device right here. And you know, for me personally, I'm editing in a 1080 timeline anyway, because when I shoot in 4K or 6K, I have a lot of punch in, punch out space that allows me, you know, on these like talking heads and things like that, it allows me a lot of crop room so that I can make those cuts during, you know, talking heads like this. And in some cases for my client work, I'm still delivering in 1080 anyway, because it's for social media, it's for their website. And again, people are gonna be watching it right here. But here's the flip side to all of this. And I think this is why a lot of people have issue with this because we're spending over $2,000 for this camera. Should we even need to be talking about shooting full HD 1080 this year? If I have a camera that shoots 6K video like the S52X, why do I need to go to HD to get 120 or even an uncropped 4K60? Why is my 4K60 cropped, Lumix? Now, if you need a lot of these B-roll type settings like 4K 120, would it actually be better to go with like something like a GH6? Yes, the GH6 is micro four thirds, but you get a beautiful image with it. And the performance of that camera is just through the roof. And on the GH6, you still have open gate settings. And so like a lot of that social media type work, however, you lose the great autofocus like on the S52X. So in my personal opinion, shooting HD isn't a huge deal, but I kind of feel like if we're spending over $2,000 for a camera, maybe some of those uncropped 4K options should be there. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Is full HD, shooting in full HD this year, is that a big deal for you? I'd love to hear some opinions and get a conversation started down there. Now, you may have seen that I have the SSD drive on this S52X. If you wanna know more about my love-hate relationship with SSD recording, make sure you check out this video right here. And in that video, I've got both benefits and drawbacks to recording to an SSD drive like this.